Advice is such a tricky thing, both when giving and getting it. I mean, imagine if 20 years ago, your Uncle Morty told you to put all of your money into blockbuster video stock. Now imagine you are Uncle Morty and you financially ruined your niece. For us, the tips we like to listen to come from innovators and inventors who we know well. They became our advisors because their experience made them wiser. Got invention apprehension? Hard to imagine, but some of our inventors did too when they first got started. When you have an idea or an invention that you're excited about, you can think of a million reasons why not to get started. Because you're worried somebody's gonna steal your idea, or you're not sure if people are gonna like it. The reality is, a lot of those things, it's just noise. So tune out the noise and tune into your potential customers. Kat says that can make all the difference. Make sure you're designing what your customers want, not what you want. We found that the hard, long way is the right way because it gave us more time to figure out what exactly our customers wanted. That time ended up meaning everything. Now, how to bring an idea to life. The first step, step out of your comfort zone. Talk about it with as many people as possible and hear their input, hear their ideas, don't be scared, it will only help you to, to take it forward. I didn't even have any plans, I was just like, okay, I'm gonna plug this here, and <laughs> here it goes here, how do I do this, how do I code that? You've heard the phrase, teamwork makes the dream work. Our inventors say, first things first. I've always surrounded myself with people that know more than I do. You've got to figure out how to assemble the best team in the world to build that innovation because you have to own that and you can't rely on anybody else to build that. By yourself, you can only go that far, but with the right team, you have a shot. You have a chance to really make it. Now that you've gathered up your gumption, there's only one thing left to do. Once you get that idea, just go for it. I think the best advice is to just to just do it. If you have that passion, go for it and just try something. And then you can make it good. It doesn't have to be good from the start. 